guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am pretty new to this, so cut me a little bit of slack in the comments, but today I'm gonna be talking about how I became a Pilates instructor, what it's like to be a Pilates instructor, how I got into Pilates. We're gonna go through a lot, so this might be a long one. I'm first just gonna start by saying that if you are interested in becoming a Pilates instructor, do it, do it, do it. There's so many rewarding pieces to being an instructor, to knowing that you're helping people feel good every single day. And I've never felt as fulfilled in my life, which sounds sort of inauthentic, but truly I mean it. I've never felt so much more like I'm doing the right thing in my life. So I got started with Pilates because of a back injury. And a lot of instructors I think that you will need have some kind of story similar to this. It's really always interesting to me to ask other instructors how they got started because there's always some kind of event that took them into a new headspace and kind of try and change their life. So for me, it was a back injury. I had back pain, so excruciating back pain that I you know, could barely tie my shoes in the morning. I could barely bend down to pick things up. And I was 24 years old at the time. And that is an insane time to not be able to, like an insane age to not be able to move things or move move around without feeling pain. Eventually I got an MRI after doing a, you know, a couple years of chiropractics and nothing was really working. And I found out on the MRI that I had herniated discs in my back. So that led me to surgery, which was microdisectomy surgery. My surgeon told me very clearly that after the surgery, I needed to be as active or more active than I was before. She made it very clear that Pilates was something that she wanted me to do. And despite my initial thoughts that Pilates might be too easy or Pilates was for rich old moms, I just decided to do it. And I could not have been more wrong. If you've taken a Pilates class, you know how hard it is. And it truly changed my entire life. I became obsessed with Pilates. I took so many classes in that first year and then eventually I decided to get certified, which again changed my entire life. The process of getting certified is a long one. It's also an expensive one and I was very lucky to have my parents help me out with that initial cost. Um, I had to be so convinced myself and very convincing to them that this was the right move for me. I had gotten fired from a job, I was working in entertainment, and I decided to completely shift spaces. And so I had to really go into it with confidence, which I didn't quite have yet. So it was a little bit of fake it till you make it. The process of getting certified is about six months, depending on how long it takes you to do all of your hours. I had a 500 hour program, which focused on all of the different apparatuses that you use during Pilates. It was also a mat certification. It was a beginner, intermediate and advanced certification. And so we really covered a lot. The curriculum is sort of anatomy, movement science, and then the repertoire of classical Pilates. That's what you do in a classic, classical Pilates certification. There are other certifications that are more contemporary. Those are amazing too. People always ask me where I got certified and the studio closed during the pandemic, so it's not open, but anybody who teaches a PMA certification, or I think it's called like the National Pilates something now, Anybody who teaches one of those certifications, you can pretty much assume it's gonna be the same information. That being said, I truly believe that what you learn in your certification is kind of like what you learn in kindergarten. You learn the alphabet, but you don't quite know how to make words yet. So I would say getting certified is kind of like learning the alphabet, teaching real classes, is like creating words and sentences. It's so complex, there are so many moving things, so many rules that you need to remember, and it's crucial to have that alphabet knowledge that... It's crucial to have that alphabet knowledge so that you can become a well-versed instructor. One of the scariest things I think about teaching Pilates or becoming an instructor is that you 
have to know how to talk to your clients, which sounds easy, but it's really difficult. Everybody has a different learning style. Some people are visual learners. Some people learn by touch. Some people learn just through sound. There are so many different learning styles and so you have to be able to adapt to those. The verbiage that you use is probably the thing that takes the most amount of courage to get down. You have to go into it fearless. You have to just be wrong a couple of times and eventually get it right. So I was obviously certified and then started teaching Reformer. I loved Reformer. It was the only thing I cared about. I thought math was like so easy and stupid. And then the pandemic hit and I had to pivot everything to online and mat. And I've really seen a complete transformation in my own body, in my clients' bodies, in the way that they move, in the way that they feel using mat exercises. If you go to my TikTok, you can see some of the things that I'm talking about and how the flow of the mat is so much more complex and interesting and just keeps your mind sort of always on the pulse of what's happening. And if you're thinking about going into a reformer, I would always start with mat. Regardless of whether you think it's good or not, Matt is a really good beginner place to start. I have my own subscription programs, on-demand live classes that I do almost daily, and I have never been happier with what I'm doing. I really enjoy all of my clients. I have no bad interactions with anybody. Everybody I teach is so excited to be there and happy to be moving their body, and it's really such a blessing to be able to have that kind of clientele. So I'm just, I'm really, really grateful for the opportunities that I have and that I'm given. My hope is that with this channel, I will bring more short form videos, some quick burns. I love to do slow burn classes. I love to do fast paced classes. I am just hoping to make this more accessible for people and to be able to give you sort of a preview of what it's like to be in a class with me. And I also want to share some tips, some form tricks, anything that you think is significant or that you want to know, let me know in the comments. Subscribe, like this video, do all the things that everybody tells you to do, and I will check back in with you guys super soon. I will see you next time.